is this beautiful and subtle detail that you can add to the edge of your work. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the cluster arch edging. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some acrylic yarn size four in two different colors. All right, so to create this design, you're gonna need a foundation chain or um, your work needs to be a multiple of four plus two. I'm gonna do a chain of 18 in my case, so 16 plus two. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I have my chain of 18 here and I'm gonna do a foundation row. So a row of single crochets, just so I can have that to base it off of. In your case, you might be adding this to the edge of a blanket or cushion cover or a coaster. So you might not need this, but I do. So I'm gonna do a row of single crochets here. I'm gonna skip the first chain and into the next do a single crochet. And I'm gonna do single crochets into each one of these chains all the way down. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I just finished the row of single crochets here. So now we can move on to row one. We are going to chain one and flip our work. Now we are going to do one single crochet into the very first stitch here. And now we can start our repeat. So the repeat starts by doing a chain three. One, two, three. And now we're going to work a double crochet two together across the next three stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and stop. Now we're gonna skip the next stitch and into the next, we're gonna work the second leg of the double crochet two together. So you're gonna yarn over, go into that stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and stop. Now you're gonna have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's your double crochet two together. Now we are going to chain three and do one single crochet into the next stitch. And that there ends the repeat. Let's do it again together, chain three to start. Then a double crochet two together across the next three stitches. So yarn over, Go into the stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two and stop. Then the next stitch, you are gonna skip it. And into the next, you're gonna work the other leg. Yarn over, go into that stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two and stop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Continuing the repeat, we chain three and then do one single crochet into the next stitch. And that's what you wanna do all the way down. I don't have that much to go, so I'm gonna go with a chain three, then do those double crochet two together across the next three stitches, just a little faster here. Then a chain three, and then a single crochet into the next stitch. Chain three. Do the double crochet two together. This is gonna be my very last repetition here. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. And now I'm at the very last stitch here, which I'm gonna do my chain three. And then do that single crochet into that very last stitch of the row. Now this here is the end of row one. And now you're gonna need your color B. So you can go ahead and grab that. So once you have your color B, you're actually going to fold a tail to weave in later. And we're gonna bring it through the same loop that you have on your hook. So pull it through and then tighten everything down. You can go ahead and cut off your color A. You're not gonna use that anymore. And now with our color B, we are going to start row two. So for row two, we chain one and flip your work. You're gonna do a single crochet on top of the first stitch, on top of the single crochet of the previous row. And then you're going to chain three. You're gonna skip the next chain three, and then on top of the double crochet two together, on top of there you do a single crochet. And that's what you wanna do. You're gonna chain three, skip the next chain three space, and into the single crochet, do a single crochet. Chain three, skip three and into the top of the double crochet two together, you're gonna do a single crochet. 
This just adds like a cute little lining around that. So let's do this all the way down. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And here's my very last one here on top of the last single crochet of the row. And now that's what that looks like. You have added just a nice little detail at the bottom of your work or on the sides. Now you can go ahead and cut off your yarn and thread your ends through. And look how stunning. The color of this is like super vibrant, the kind of like salmon red that I used. But you can see how it adds just a tiny little detail. It almost looks like flowers and a stem and leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Also this like outline at the bottom that kind of surrounds, kind of goes like this around it. So super beautiful detail to add to the edge of your work. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it, just do it.